Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is layers of the atmosphere. Atmosphere is present all around our earth and it consists of many layers. Exosphere, the uppermost layer, it's just near about to vacuum space. After that, thermosphere. The name indicates therm comes from heat. Yes, it is the layer having much heat in it. Or we can say that sun is very active in thermosphere. It gives x-rays and UV radiations in thermosphere. And if I talk about mesosphere, it is the coldest region. Stratosphere, yes, having ozone layer in it. And this is the layer in which aeroplanes and jet planes fly. And a very interesting fact about stratosphere. You know that vultures can also fly up to stratosphere. And the last, which is very close to us, troposphere. Present all around us, our weather, whether it's windy, cloudy, sunny or whatever. It's all present in troposphere. So let's study about the different layers and different things which are present in the atmosphere. Now by this simple picture, you can easily understand that what are the regions of these layers like if i talk about troposphere yes it is present from 0 to 10 km and after that stratosphere from 10 to 30 km then the mesosphere the coldest region which is 30 to 50 km and after that is thermosphere from 50 to 400 km and the last one exosphere above then 400 km so these are the regions for all these layers now this is the time to make the notes so that we can easily memorize them during the paper now the atmosphere is comprised of layers based upon temperature. Atmosphere consists of four spheres extending from the surface of the earth and towards above. These layers are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere and thermosphere. In my previous slide, I have also discussed about exosphere, but mostly this is not included in books. A further region at about 500 km above the earth's surface is called exosphere. Now if this question come in your exams, you should have to be very careful while writing. You have to first describe that what is atmosphere and then the types of the atmosphere so that examiner will able to understand that you can pick and understand all the points related to the layers of atmosphere. Now let's discuss them one by one. In the layers of atmosphere two things matters a lot. One is pressure and the other is temperature. Now, if I talk about pressure, the concentration of the component gases decreases gradually upwards. When we move upwards, the concentration of the gases will decrease. They will mix up. They will not present in the form of layers. That result in gradual decrease of pressure. And if I talk about temperature, the temperature of the atmosphere does not change in a gradual way. It varies in a complex way. 
like as we have discussed in thermosphere there is too much heat while if i talk about mesosphere it is the coldest region so in this way there is a complexity in temperature now by this picture you can easily understand i will start from the troposphere in this region we are living the atmosphere which is present all around us now as we move upward the temperature will decrease but if we move in the stratosphere temperature increases up in mesosphere temperature decreases upwards and in thermosphere temperature increases upwards so in this way these layers are on the base of temperature now depending upon the temperature variation atmosphere is divided into four regions troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and thermosphere let's discuss them one by one now troposphere up to 12 km we have troposphere and in temperature temperature decreases from 17 degrees celsius to minus 58 regularly in the lowest layer extending up to 12 km and this layer of the atmosphere is called troposphere above troposphere this layer lies that extends up to 50 km in this layer temperature rises up to 2 degrees celsius now where is mesosphere yes covering up to 85 km beyond the stratosphere in this region again temperature decreases down to minus 93 degrees celsius this is very important short question in mesosphere temperature decreases and it decreases down to negative 93 degree celsius now what is above 85 km beyond 85 km lies the thermosphere in which temperature goes on increasing upwards now by this simple picture in a nutshell you can easily memorize about the names and the regions and the temperature of the different layers of atmosphere now these are some points by which we can easily understand that what is present in troposphere the major constituents of troposphere are nitrogen and oxygen gases these two gases comprise 99% by volume of the earth atmosphere as we are living in troposphere so definitely oxygen is very necessary for us and it is present in large amount in troposphere in troposphere concentration of carbon dioxide and water vapors is negligible but please remember they play significant role in maintaining temperature of the atmosphere have you ever think about it that what going to be happened if there is no carbon dioxide in the atmosphere everything will going to be frozen everything will become icy and it will become too cold that it will be not easy for us to survive on the earth because basically carbon dioxide is a gas which absorbs heat from the sun traps warm air so that's why keeping the temperature of the earth constant for our life so that's why carbon dioxide is very important although it is present in negligible amount and its concentration is 0.03% a very small amount but very necessary both of these gases allow visible light to pass through 
that absorb infrared radiations emitted by the earth's surface. Therefore, these gases absorb much of the outgoing radiations and warm the atmosphere. Now we know that when sunlight or when rays from the sun coming towards the earth, they are coming in the form of UV rays, ultraviolet rays. But when it strikes to the earth, the rays which are emitted again are infrared radiations which have to go back into the atmosphere. So some of the infrared radiations are trapped by the carbon dioxide. So that's why keeping the earth warmer. Now what gonna be happen if we move higher in the troposphere? As the concentration of the gases decreases gradually with the increase of altitude, corresponding temperature also decreases at a rate of 6 degrees Celsius per kilometer. This is the region where all radars are kept. Almost all aircrafts fly in this region. Now this region is next to troposphere and this is stratosphere extends up to 50 kilometers. In this region temperature rises gradually up to 2 degrees Celsius. The presence of ozone in this region is responsible for the rise of temperature in stratosphere. Now this is the answer of the question that why temperature rises in stratosphere because there is presence of ozone layer in it. Within this region, temperature increases as altitude increases. Such as lower layer temperature is about minus 58 Celsius and upper layer is 2 degrees Celsius. Now how ozone formation takes place in stratosphere? In this picture, you can easily see that lower layer of stratosphere between 10 to 20 km and then from 20 to 30 middle stratosphere in which ozone will form, ozone formation region and upper that upper stratosphere where again ozone decompose and give the reactants and then in the middle layer again reactants combine to give the product. Since ozone in the upper layer absorbs high energy ultraviolet radiations from the sun, it breaks down into monoatomic and diatomic oxygen. O3 is used for ozone and when it breaks down, it will give oxygen gas and nascent oxygen. Now the mid stratosphere has less ultraviolet light passing through it. Air oxygen and nascent oxygen recombine to form ozone, which is an exothermic reaction. Means that heat will release. Thus ozone layer exists in mid stratosphere. The lower stratosphere receives very low ultraviolet radiations. Thus monoatomic oxygen is not found here and ozone is not formed. So here is an answer that why in lower stratosphere ozone is not formed and in the mid ozone is forming because of rays of sun. The mid stratosphere gives the ozone and in the lower stratosphere very low ultraviolet radiations are present that are responsible for it that no more ozone or less ozone is present in lower stratosphere. Thank you so much and I am pretty sure that now you are much clear about the layers of atmosphere. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.